Hello geometry students and welcome back to another video lesson as we continue to explore the area and circumference of circles but we look at it a little bit more uh, specifically or a twist by looking at the lengths of arcs and areas of sectors. <clears throat> Excuse me and so we needed to know area and circumference first so that we can investigate this concept of sectors and arcs. What is a sector? Well, a sector is, in a, in a grander sense, it is a piece or a slice of the circle, right? So I could say that uh, this part in here, which I'm just going to fill in with some lines, right in here, uh, this is called a sector because it's just a small portion of this entire circle, right? And so if we wanted to find the area of a sector, we can't find the area of the whole circle. We're gonna have to figure out something that allows us just to find the small portion, that sector. In arc, on the other hand, we've already investigated arcs in an earlier chapter, but just to remind you, the arc is very related to circumference in that it's just this piece of the circle, this outside piece right here. That is the arc of the circle. And so again, it's related to circumference, um, but only a small piece of the circle and not the entire thing, which changes in a sense how we, how we have to look at what we're trying to find. A sector is related to area, um, but it's just the area of a smaller piece. And so if I were to uh, perhaps tell us that ABC, this, this sector ABC has a measure of, let's draw it out here, 60 degrees. What part of the circle does that cover? Well, 60 degrees covers 60 out of the total 360 degrees of the circle. If I divide those two, I get one sixth. And so we say that that sector is one sixth of the entire circle. Whereas maybe uh, this here covers, I don't know, let's just say it's 80 degrees. This arc would be 80 out of 360, or 8 out of 36. If I divide by 4, I get 2 ninths. So it covers 2 ninths of the circle. And we have to use these fractions or these percentages of the circle to help us find those areas or that arc length. So let's look at a couple of examples and what this really looks like. Find the area of sector GJH. And they're telling us that this sector has a 120 degree measure. 120 degree measure, right? So one of the things we need to do is figure out what percent of the entire circle is that. So we're going to take the degree that they give us and divide by 360. And if you calculate those two, we get that it is one third of the entire circle, one third. So we're going to find the area of the entire circle, which was from pi r squared yesterday. And when we get that, we're going to then multiply by the percentage or that fraction of the circle. What fraction of the circle did we have? So here they're telling me the radius is 2. So pi times 2 squared times 1 third. This is 4 pi times 1 third. And if they wanted an exact answer, I would take 4 times 1 third, which is 4 thirds times pi. And if they wanted the exact or a rounded answer, again, we would go over to Desmos and type in fraction bar four thirds times pi, 4.19, 4.19. 
4.19 square meters. But again, we have to start by figuring out how much of the circle does that sector cover? One third in this case, find the area of the entire circle and multiply it by that percent that it covers. So let's try another example. Here's an example where we're going to find the area of sector ACB. ACB covers 90 degrees. So what part of the circle is that? 90 over 360 is one-fourth. So it covers one-fourth of the circle. All right, then let's find the area of the entire circle, pi times r squared, or pi times 5 squared is 25 pi, 25 pi times what part of the circle are we only looking at if we're looking at this sector? Times 1 fourth. And 25 times 1 fourth is 25 fourths pi inches squared. So that would be the exact answer. If they wanted me to <clears throat> figure out a rounded answer, I can go back here and change it to be 25, oops, 25 or 4 times pi, 19.63. 19.63 square inches. 19.63. So again, Area of sectors, you need to find out what piece of the circle that you are looking for, right? What piece are you looking for? And then area is still equal to pi times r squared times the piece that you have. The piece over the whole circle. Hopefully you, you took those examples down. Hopefully you wrote that piece down as well. Now, what about arc lengths, right? Find the length of arc AB. So how far is that arc length? And again, this relates, arc lengths relates to circumference, to circumference. And the circumference, in this case, I have radius. So circumference equals two times pi times the radius, or 2 times pi times 5, which is 10 pi. That, though, is for the entire circle, 10 pi. What piece do we have here? Well, we only have 90 out of the 360 degrees, which again is 1 fourth. We only have 1 fourth of the entire circle. So we need to take our circumference of the entire circle and multiply by 1 fourth because that's the part that we have. 10 times a fourth is 10 fourths, which is also 5 halves or 5 over 2 pi inches. There's our exact answer. They wanted the rounded answer. Again, we can go back over here and do 5 halves times pi, 7.85. 7.85 inches for that arc length, the length from A to B. All right, one more example. Find the arc length of DE. Again, circumference equals 2 times pi times r, or in this problem, it is 2 times pi times 8, which is 16 pi. That is for the entire circle, though. So we need to figure out 48, I'm sorry, 45 is what part of our whole circle? 45 over 360, 45. Well, that's going to be actually one eighth of a circle. So I'm going to take and multiply that by one eighth. 16 times one eighth is 16 over eight or two pi 
inches. 2 pi inches. That's the exact answer. If they just wanted us to figure out the rounded, we'd get 6.28. 6 Point two eight inches. So again, know the difference between exact and rounded. And when we're finding the arc length, it's related to circumference. But we're then going to multiply by some percentage or some part of the circle that we have. If you have any questions related to arcs or sectors, please make sure that you reach out and let me know. Otherwise, until next time, everyone, stay safe.